Uh, in this uh, video, I will demonstrate how to render 360 video uh, uh, inside Metashape and create a 3D model. Uh, so as I mentioned to you, Julia, before I download a video online from the uh, Golden City Discovered in Luxor, one of my colleagues actually published online on YouTube 1K video uh, 360 degree for the whole site. Uh, so he recorded like around four minutes and as you can see this is how it looks like when he move uh, So he just like move like he just walk all around the site uh, So this is the video how it looks like so I would just like go it a bit quickly but As you can see here he just like move like just move around to the whole site so the idea came to me to just extract a frame from this video and again this video is just in 1k I download it on YouTube in 1k so I don't expect that the resolution or the quality of the 3d model will be that something uh, interesting me but I was very interested to see the result so let's start and see how we can create a 3d model so I will close this video and I will open Photoshop here and all what I will do I will just take the video and drag it and drop here inside Photoshop so here is the video uh, and here is the frame and all what I do is pretty easy I will go to file export and render video so here is the thing so if I render the video it will render also as a video so but all what I need is to extract a keyframe the sequence images and I know that for each frame or for each second it have a 30 frame here so what I will do here inside the format I will tell uh, sorry not in format but here in Adobe Media Encoder so I will tell the, the Photoshop to just export image sequence here so I will choose a format so for now I will choose a GBG file and I will leave the starting from zero so this is how it will be file renaming and here is the most important part so frame rate frame rate that it means that how many image per second would you like to export so usually the overlap and the guy move very slowly so if I go here I can get a recommendation like 10 image per second 12 image per second or I can put the number like for example uh, three image per second uh, so it's not recommended to go for a stream image per second since the site is very big and I have only four uh, minutes so maybe I will go to five or six and uh, that's it or can I can go to the minimum which 10 image per second so which means that for each one minute it will be around uh, uh, 600 image which a bit too much so maybe I can go to four or five uh, so in equal for for minute will be like around 500 600 images uh, so I will leave it like that and I will tell the software okay extract the old frame for all the four minute uh, video and once I do that I can actually select the folder here so select the folder and tell the software where I will do it and once I press render the software will make calculate uh, so as you can see here I have uh, 7347 uh, frame which calculated per second 30 frame per second but once I make the four frame per second it will be of course will be like around 700 or be between 500 and 700 images and once I press render I will not do that right now to not take time but I will show you exactly how it looks like in the end so I extract like I think like five image uh, per second and here is the final result and here is the se camera sequence as you can see here when I move the images it looks like still overlapping is pretty good here so the trick here how I will process inside Metashape which is pretty easy so I will open Metashape so this is my old file but I will create a new chunk here a new folder and I will only take like a few images like around 50 image here well what I will do is just like drag here and drop which is obviously not working 
So anyway, I will just like select manually here and I will go to frame 50 and press open. So now I have like around 40 image and it's pretty easy. I don't have to do anything very fancy here. Uh, but uh, all what I will do before I do any process, I will go to tools, camera calibration, and I will tell the software this is a spherical uh, camera. That's it. And yeah, I will leave everything as a default. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I can just enable the rolling shutter uh, option. Uh, this is in case if I have some frame or very shaking uh, or something, but I will leave right now everything as a default and I will press OK. And all, this is all what I want to do. And after that, I will go to workflow and make a line photo and we'll leave everything as a default and press OK. The software start to make a process and I can see if we go to the details here. So I just like warm up to match photo and yeah. So usually at the beginning it take uh, some time to process, but uh, eventually it will go very fast. Like you can see now uh, the software start uh, to use all photo. Just make sure before you make the process to enable the GPU and CPU to accelerate the process. So the software now start to select the peers and after that matching the key point which extracted from each photograph and after that it will generate the uh, tie point and put the camera position and orientation. So here is the now we start to estimate camera location uh, for the position and orientation for each camera and yeah that's it so now we have the 40 image and once i enable the camera as you can see here here is a move of the avatar so let's open my old project here here and let's see how it looks like as you can see here is how it looks like the spherical camera which looks like balls and here is how the guy actually move on the side itself of course it's not like when he makes this video, he didn't make it for a purpose of photogrammetry, but the result was really outstanding. And this is how he moved on the site. And this is how the result with only one cake video downloaded from YouTube, which really outstanding for me. Uh, so, so this is for the video. I hope this is helpful for your project, uh, Julia, and I wish you all the best. Thank you.